everyone welcome back to my channel and if you are looking at my screen and wondering if something's wrong with yours you'd be mistaken because something is wrong with mine haha <laughs> just kidding i put the grayscale on and as you could probably guess what we're going to do today we are going to make a sim in grayscale <laughs> and have no sense of colors because your girl will not do inverted because my eyesight is already struggling so we shall do grayscale instead so i will hit this little thingy my bobber oh goodness that looks horrible a couple of times and three i think i want to do a female female here she is and what shall the name be Sarah Muse. Oh, okay. All right, Miss Muse. Well, we shall start from the scratches and we shall figure out what you shall look like. Okay. Dun, 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 dun. A method in which I shall call. I don't know what I feel like calling this, so we're just going to stick with this. Okay, so. We shall make a sim and I shall try not to take forever for the sake of your time and mine. Okay. Oh, I hope her hair is brown or black. Or else this isn't going to make a lot of sense. If it's not brown or black, then I don't know what to tell y'all. Okay. Not my favorite eye. Not my favorite eyes either. Hold on, we shall begin scrolling. Oh my goodness. I feel like eyes are one of those things that you just accept until like you have to notice it. Like a nose, like when you make noses and you can't seem to pick a color. I'm gonna I'm guess it is closer to the brown side. I hope it is. But anyways, so. Eyes are like the things that you notice. And once you notice it, it never looks like, then it never looks right. And then you have to just keep, you just have to accept that it doesn't look right because you don't know what actually does look right. You know what I'm saying? Probably not, but oh well. Okay. I feel like her chin a little bothersome why you look mad lady get glad guys how you make her look less mad nope not that way that i don't know if i like that either Ugh, stop it all right like what is wrong with you i don't know should we raise them she looks a little nut okay i think i just don't like these eyebrows that's my reason and I'm sticking to it. I want her to look happy like she enjoys her life. Short lived in a sense but I want her to look like she enjoys it at least a little bit. Because we all have things to be grateful for. Right? Even Sims. Okay. That's. Hold on. I guess that's an okay face. What do y'all guys think? Okay. We're going to stick with that. Okay. So we need the details because all in the details. Yeah, we're going to see what this makes her look like. Oh, that looks like plastic surgery. Oh, my goodness. What do we think, guys? What do we think? Oh, nope. I don't think. Oh. I don't think I like that one either. Does she like any of them? Probably not. Hold on. We will find one. You know what? That's as good as it's going to get for now. So, we should get Hair. And I know her hair is not that light, so we're going to take it back to that. Ooh, y'all know what we should, we should give her some edges. Y'all was like, what? This is so random. It may be random, but I think I want her to have some edges. And I have to, oh, whoa. That, 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 that That's reasonable, right? Guys? Okay, it looked better with the hair, to be fair. But we shall find the hair now. Okay. There, it's a little peekaboo. See, it just adds a little pizzazz to the whole style. I.e., you're welcome. Oh, yes, ma'am. Okay. I feel like her hair, her face is like too big for the hair. I think I want bigger hair. 
bigger hair, bigger hair, because more is more, right, guys? Yes, said everybody in every situation ever. Okay. Well, I guess I can tell y'all guys about my day. So, as I scrolled through the stuff trying to find something. No, I think I like that. We're going to use it. Never mind. Okay, so, about my day. My day so far, when I'm filming this, it is currently a Saturday and I just took my last exam before spring break, my last midterm, and I had not a good time. Y'all ever took an exam and was, and you tried to study, but it just wasn't happening. And then finally you decide, you know, I'm going to get it over with and I don't feel like doing this anymore. Cause same. Ugh. No, I think I like it better the way it was. I'm trying to find hair. Okay, I feel like her hair is not in proportion to her body. And we have to have it match. Oh, like it needs to be a like statement hair. Do y'all see what I mean? Probably not because I ain't fi- found anything that I like yet. But back to my story. So yesterday I finally took my exam and it was for the beloved subject of chemistry. Let me tell you, I tried to avoid chemistry at all costs in high school. So I took biology and I did fairly well in biology. Then to come to college and find out that my credit didn't count. Well, it counted, but it didn't count towards my degree. So now we're taking chemistry. Ha <laughs> ha. And I decided that I wanted to take it online because I couldn't be bothered to go to a class every so often to learn a chemistry or to sit and just stare at a te- Ooh, I like this one that does not match at all she kind of reminds me i know never mind i take that back but anyways so i'm in this chemistry class well online and then i we have a online group me so that struggling students can help each other out. <laughs> and needless to say i don't think i've been very like i don't know who i could been. okay i kind of like that a little bit but anyway, I'm not sure who I could have been helpful to in that group me. But usually on test day, like no one says anything until probably like two days before the test. And then it's full of, have you taken the test or was it hard? Did you pass? How many math questions was on it? And there's a typical of college students. Well, at least the ones in my group me that they don't. Well, they usually take the test and avoid all the math questions and just take their grade from there. Which is not a very viable solution, I would say. Who should we do it? Go for a sweater. I think she'd like a sweater. Okay, so I don't know. Well, obviously, the goal is to get something that's somewhat cute. You know, I feel like she's a classy woman. Let's let's go with that. Okay, and then, but then I feel like I need some thigh high boots, and I don't know if I can deliver on that one. So we might just have to stick with turtleneck. Okay, and then skirt or pants is a question. And I may get back to my story. We'll see. Oh, I can't see the color. Okay, this is probably helpful because I'll just go off of the shapes instead. Right, guys? See, classy woman. You know what? Now I need some good old trousers. And we can call it a day. But anyways, back to my story. So everyone in the class a couple of days before test... And then people start asking, did you take the test, blah, 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 blah. And then they just avoid all the math questions and then take their seat and then go home. But you see here, I can't really follow that because I'm trying to keep the grades that I have, which are actually, for the first time in a while, actually pretty darn good. So I said, okay. And then yesterday, I sat, I have a job on campus. So I sat at that desk for probably like three hours and stared at the textbook in which I was supposed to gather information. Needless to say, I gathered nothing and had to sit another. I got left work at five, didn't take the test till 10. And the whole time, 5 p.m., didn't take the test until 10 p.m. when the test was due at 11.59 p.m. So (laughs) procrastination. Anyways, so. Oh, wait. I don't think I'll, I don't know if I'm going to like those pants with the thing. You know what? Should we go for a belt? Do we like this, guys? I can't tell. 
No, this is when colors are helpful, but then again, colors have always been the bane of my existence because they made things take so much longer than necessary. Oh, it looks like it matches. We're going to see. I know that that's like a tan. I don't know that that is a tan, but we shall see what it comes out with. Okay, I feel like that's a classy shirt. I feel like that skirt's a little too short. Okay, anyways. <laughs> so... I sat and then didn't take the test until 10 p.m. And that was the gist of my story. If you were wondering if that was going to go anywhere, haha, ha, surprise, surprise, no, it did not. And there was no answer. Ooh, that could have been a look. But anyways, no, that was not going to go anywhere. That's just, I just felt the need to share with you guys. The fact that I waited, that it took me that long to actually read the textbook because I kept zoning out. If you have that issue, comment down below if you have any solutions to that issue of zoning out while trying to read your textbook, meaning that you have to reread the same pages several times in order to gather information. All input. Okay, I feel. Do the textures clash? I don't know. At this point, I'm just trying to choose something. Okay. Which one do we hope would be tan? That looks a little too dark. No, that's even worse. What? I'm trying to find a grip. That looks like it matches slightly better. Okay, so we got a classy woman. And then we need shoes. But I'm so glad that you guys sat here and listened to my interesting story about me not taking my test. It's very frustrating when you look and see that five hours have gone by and you've accomplished next to nothing. So if you have any solutions... That would be greatly appreciated. And then, of course, we cannot forget the socks because socks are greatly important and highly neglected in The Sims. Can you see them? No, but are they there? Yes. You're welcome. Pay attention to your socks, kids. Because funky feet is not an excuse. Never acceptable. Okay, which makes me which makes me think about things. So, do y'all got... Please tell me when you go bowling that you bring your own socks and you don't just go put your foot in their shoes of like the runner shoes oh in different countries do y'all know if they have like well i'm that's pretty sure they do ignore that question i was gonna ask in different countries do they have runner shoes for people i would hope so and i'm going to assume so but if there are not runner shoes is what I'm going to call them. Oh, but <laughs> I hope that y'all catch on saying rent a shoe. Like the shoes that you get before you go bowling. Hope that makes sense. Who knows ring? That wasn't even on the plan. But you know what? We are going wild today. So she's going to have a nose ring. Okay, is it just me or are the nose rings like disproportionately big for their faces? I don't know. Oh, yeah, and we get to choose makeup. That should be fun. How do y'all feel like these edges are looking? I feel I feel like they kind I feel like they kind of work with the hair stuff like a little bit. I feel like she needs eyelashes though. eyelashes fix everything. You know, I was watching this one beauty guru, and I think she ended up hating her makeup look, but then she just threw on eyelashes and she was in acted as if everything changed. Like everything was just phenomenal just because she put on eyelashes. And she was like, eyelashes fix everything. Which to some extent they might. But still I don't I, I think the foundation should be good too. Okay, another question I have about beauty in general is how do you guys find the motivation to put on makeup every morning if you do put makeup on every day. And then like wash it off every night. But how do you still find a motivation to get up and do it? You know what? That looks, I don't know what color that is. We're going to see in a couple minutes. Because we're actually kind of close to the end of this video. Oh, goodness. Please ignore that. That is the exasperation I am feeling from the excitement of just being ready to see what this lady looks like. Sarah. This is what Sarah looks like. And for traits, we don't know. We'll, ju we'll just guess. Should we do lip gloss or should we do... I feel like we're going to go bold. 
Because when other opportunity would I be courageous enough to actually pick a book? Ooh, that might actually be black. Hold on. Wait. <laughs> okay. Wait. Hold on. Hold on. We might be on to something, guys. Okay. Put comments down below. Do you think I'm going to like it before I actually change the thing back? Are we going to like it? Are we not going to like it? To put your guesses in now. Ooh, highlighter. No. Okay, we that, we like a subtle. Oh, wait, this one got options. Oh, is it going to match? Is it going to match? That one looks subtle. Doesn't that look subtle, guys? Okay. I still like her face. So pretty beat. Get it, girl. Okay. So she got nails. Do we need rings? We don't really need rings. Okay. We hear a Sarah Muse before. And cut to the after. In three, two, one. Ooh. Ooh, Mardi Gras happened. What she got on one earring? <laughs> Why would y'all let me do that? Y'all did me wrong. Ooh. Okay, that wasn't that bad. I feel like I like the skin. I like the highlighter, the eyebrows, and the hair. Are those. Those, I'm not too, I'm not mad. I feel like she's a pretty simp. And the shoes match. You gotta give me props for the shoes. The pants could be more to be desired. <laughs> but yeah, she is gonna be on here with one earring because that's how it was because y'all didn't want to tell me that she had on one earring. But tell me what your thoughts are. Do you think you could do better? Should we try? Should there be a part two? Ooh, look at her traits. Naturally smelly. Oh, I, I, how do you naturally sm smelly and neat? A little questionable. But anyways, this is what she turned out looking like. <laughs> so Mar in the season of Mardi Gras, here she is. Fat Tuesday did just, just happen. And Ash Wednesday. So here it is. <laughs> All right. Thank you guys for joining me for this video. Please like, comment, and you can subscribe too if you already made it to the end. And ooh, we gonna change the name. Anyways, so we got, <laughs> so now we have Mardi Gras. Yes, ma'am. Okay, so thank you for enjoying this video with me. You can like, comment, subscribe, do all this. Tell your friends, like, comment, and share, post, and all that other good stuff. And you should also try this challenge. And then you can tag me on Instagram. And then we could be laughing together at the results of our grayscale challenge. Thank you for watching this video. And I don't feel like saying anything else. So have a beautiful day. And see y'all next time I see y'all. Peace out.